Good morning, my cellmates. Today, I'm in my uh, art lab mood again today, so I'm gonna actually do a few things. The last couple of days, I've done some um, blob paintings, marshmallow, uh, pearl, pillow, whatever they're called these days, whatever. I did some of the Shelley blooms, or just the bloom technique. Um, but trying to uh, just create an easier option for people. So I'm going to combine on this bigger canvas um, the techniques used in the last couple of days but with different paints than were recommended um, previously just trying to see what works. I'm going to do my marshmallow blobs I don't know whatever anybody wants to call them I'm happy because I know it's all been done before I'm gonna I'm going to use as my base to cover the whole of the canvas my Montmartre studio acrylics I'm using burnt umber because I want to try and use a color that makes the other colors stand out so we can see what kind of results I get from them so I'm going to use some of the blue uh, the boom gel stain that I did a, a video on uh, that was with the little blooms but I'm going to try the different techniques with those and I'm going to try my Montmartre pouring acrylic paint I'm going to combine them all on the one canvas so we can kind of see you know what anybody you know believes would work best or for a particular style anyway I'll explain it as I go along I've mixed a bit of the blue uh, uh, boom gel stain and I've actually because I want it to drop like that into droplets I've mixed um, the trusty old flow troll so all of these paints you know come the boom gel stain and the Montmartre you know ready to pour you don't have to do anything with them but because I'm trying different techniques with them I needed them a different consistency so I'm trying this one with a bit of flow troll so I've got the um, colors made up with a bit of flow troll um, I've got I put my white just a bit of white um, Montmartre studio acrylics and I've added flow troll just a bit of white I've got um, yeah and the Montmartre pouring paints I've just added the same that wee bit of flow troll so I can get a drip out of them droplets um, what else have I got and I've got over here I've got my chalk paints one was the powder the one I made up out of powder in the previous video and the other one is the um, I'll get the bottle it's the folk art the folk art milk paint and then I've got milk paint in this kind of ochre color and I've got milk paint in a blue so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what works on a canvas and what doesn't and then in the end I mean I might make one great big mess because this is an experiment and I've not done it before but as I've got asked loads of times don't you know do the experiments but do it with your camera running because I can show you the failures along with the successes and that's what's happened to the stupid gloves that we have to wear but uh, <laughs> I think I have to go back to my uh, dishwashing gloves they seemed more hardy than these um, plastic gloves anyway what I'm going to do first is I just move out everything that I can easily knock over with my hand because I'm very good at doing that so that's why I've got those little cup holder things First of all, I'm gonna got my little odd bits of tools here that I'm gonna try. But I'll first of all uh, cover my canvas in in the um, burnt umber because I want to just so I'll just tilt away, tilt it over the edges.
So yeah, definitely art lab um, videos I've been doing of late. I've got a nice video to upload for you of really nice, bright and beautiful, but um, just my swipe style that I love doing. But I think I'll put these tests on before that one. So just finger pop in the ends just to see it's covered. No big deal because you can always do this afterwards. With this paint that I made up, I made up my Montmartre and I made it up a th lot thinner than I would normally do and I actually made it up with the Montmartre and Floetrol. So this one hasn't actually got any um, glue in this mix. So not like me because I love the PVA glue and water as a pouring medium. But um, I'm just going to try it with this. I'll give it a quick whiz around with the spatula. Just to try and... I'm just basically putting a coat to work on in these different styles that I'm going to try on here. doesn't seem to be covering the canvas as well probably because I've made it a lot thinner mix but anyhow we just give it a go so what I started with before was the milk paint so I'm going to start with the milk paint because this is what I know the milk paint looks the nicest so far but I'm just trying to do these droplets very very time consuming so I might stick to one corner and then ask how I get to speed this up so don't all bore you to tears so it's just this was the folk art milk paint mixed with a little bit of flow troll and it kind of allows these little droplets to form with like a ring around them and they basically look like they are full false cells so for somebody that's been struggling with cells this is a cheats method to cells <laughs> that you a full of what is it called a full a foolproof method of getting cells because you're not creating them with your pouring medium you're not creating them with um, silicone so no silicone whatsoever was added to these paints that I'm doing using today but I just wanted to show you so I have done them with this milk paint and look how beautiful the cells you know that negative space creates a lovely look illusion of cells you can do bigger blobs you can do smaller droplets You can do droplets with other gadgets, like you can use um, a skewer for doing little cells. So that's quite, you know, you can do a little line of, of smaller cells. It, this is actually something that you should be doing nice and slow and methodically. And for videos, obviously, we try to do it a bit quicker so we don't bore you guys because then we get all kinds of feedback about but anyway that's another story um so okay that's the milk paint with flow troll this is also milk paint with flow troll ochre color not too keen on this color at all but we'll start in another area so i can keep them apart and I might even just tilt the whole lot when I've finished to see how they all interact whether they interact nicely or not so nicely I'm doing blobs without meaning to do blobs but sometimes they can turn out the best This particular style of doing these droplets has been done 
for hundreds of years in different um, cultures, like the Aboriginals, Aboriginal um, artists do lots of this droplet painting. Um, it is like an Abor probably more so Aboriginal is what I thought the um, a beginning of the style started out because Aboriginal artists obviously have been going for thousands of years. We have some absolutely awesome Aboriginal artists here in Australia, which I'd love to go and have lessons with them. But they do a lot of this kind of technique using um, blobs, droplets. So that's with the folk art ochre. And this is another folk art, which is like farmhouse blue, and it's folk art with milk paint. Now, I've been told that here in Australia, you cannot, uh, that folk art, or whoever, Plaid, I think their company name is, is not making milk paints any longer. But I'm absolutely sure there would be an alternate. Well, I've bought the, um, what's it called? Oh no, actually, my online people that I get all my gear off sent me the uh, powdered milk paint and I'll test that in a second and show you. So yeah, it's probably very tedious to watch and I'm sorry. If I haven't learnt to speed it up, just speed it forward. If I can't get somebody to help me, show me. I know how to speed up but... Yeah. It's not something I'm very good at on the on the um, editing. So okay, those are milk paints. Uh, what I will try now is the I might put this. So this is the powdered milk paint that you can get online. This is powdered, so it comes in a powder. I mixed it with water. And it's got no flow troll added. Maybe it would be better with flow troll added. I'll just start over here and oh, that, that's I've done that obviously too, Ronnie. See how this one reacts. This one isn't. This one sort of sinking into the surface a lot more than the um, folk art one. So I'm not sure if. And I did allow this, I did use this one the other day and it, see it's already started to craze. So that may be because it's reacting with the um, Mark Studio acrylic underneath it. But as you can see, they've created even still quite a nice little um, effect there. So what I'm going with now is the Boom Gel stain um, mixed with a bit of Floetrol. So I'll go with the white first again so this is a complete test to see if this actually will work in the droplet paint droplet um, technique shall I say so I'm just calling it droplets because that is basically what you're doing is droplets it's very time consuming but it is rewarding if you get a really nice piece at the end of it the boom gel, I would say, is not creating such a an effect as this, but early days I've got to see if it might add some of the other colours. So the other that was just the white. Now this is the Mulga parrot green. So we just see how we go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not reacting the same, so I can just see that already. It's not reacting the same as the milk paints. The milk paints sort of join in the party and start to seek out each other to get close to and cause that effect. But I can see that that's not happening with that, so I'm going to now try the Montmartre pouring acrylics see what kind of effect we get with these 
the colour looks super duper against the brown because that's the um, brilliant yellow bright yellow it's called in the Montmartre pouring paints maybe could have done the I have mixed them with um, flow troll but I maybe could have done them a little bit thinner uh, yeah I certainly could have because it's going to be too tedious trying to get these droplets but as you can see what's happening with the boom gel stain that's just disappearing into so that is obviously not a paint to do the dot technique but what I'll do with that is I will add some more to that and I'll give it um, a blow like you do with a bloom and see so all different things you can try okay that that seems to be playing a little bit nicely in there with the paint but we just see how it if it stretches out like the milk paint towards each other but definitely think a little bit um, less a, a little bit um, thinner would probably work a whole lot better because I'm kind of trying to have to shake it to get the blobs off so I might add a bit of um, flow more flow troll to that I'll just try that this one is still the same this is the turquoise in the Montmartre so I'll see if I can this one's definitely runnier so it will give us a picture of if it does the droplet art and this one's certainly looking like it it needs to be so obviously working on your consistency is the key yes that's doing it that's causing that nice little um sort of the brown is causing it to look like that it's a, a cell that's created through silicon almost yeah another uh, dot, uh, dot art or droplet art is the Indian um, henna as well they're using dots in that don't they so yeah nothing new that anyone's doing it's just that it's always the first one to put it on the sites that you're on and claim it to be their own but and, and and you know that that's all well and good but I just know it's all been done before in the art world absolutely all been done before so I'm certainly not going to get upset with anybody doing the exact same technique of any techniques I do and they're not crediting me for it I can absolutely guarantee nice if you do but I am not gonna fret or cause drama if you don't so there you go so actually the Montmartre at the right consistency that works just equally as well than the milk paint so let's try this is the Montmartre again in brilliant red so I might just see Okay guys, if you want to just use the Montmartre pouring paint instead of milk paint in a droplet painting. Look at that. That's actually come out brilliant. I like that. Okay, what's my next one I wanted to try? Okay, I'm going to try the Bloom, Stel Bloom Cell Stain. I'm going to pour a puddle yeah I'm going to pour a puddle and then I'm going to add some of their this is, so this, this is their parrot green this is their uh, turquoise blue and this is just white then I will add just a bit of the try and use it directly from now this has got the uh, this is the really oh okay that's the native violet 
Okay, what I want to try is with my mix of, I've just mixed white um, Montmartre Studio Acrylic and I just mixed Floetrol. So I'm doing this test for I don't, I don't know what you do here but anyway I'm going in with that I'm going to use my straw to blow it ha <laughs> ha there you go so obviously not as beautiful as I've seen some people's but it still gives that lovely lacing and that was with my Montmartre white studio acrylic and Floetrol just at that kind of like it's not really runny but it's you know it sort of takes a little bit to get off the the um, stirry thing okay what I will try Try. I'll try what the Montmartre does in a bloom. See if I can get the Montmartre to work. So that's the bright yellow. I love the red and yellow. I'm going to put another layer of yellow. And I'm going to put the turquoise. And I will sell try my homemade cell act make the cells what do you call it cell activate cell booster this might not work and it may work who knows <laughs> okay so that was with the Montmartre you're still getting so obviously it, it, you know with a little bit of work you can certainly make definitely you're I mean this and this is just a quick crude um, exploring of the technique isn't it on this one <laughs> canvas so what I might do is I might add a bit more blooms uh, droplets and then I might just tilt the whole lot together see what we come up with might come up with one big mess but before I tilt it I will take a photograph so I can oh look I've gone and splodged in me duvalake sorry about that uh, if you think I'm waffling just speed it on no need to leave a nasty rude comment doesn't matter I'm doing this for free I'm not charging any of you to do it so just get over it okay all right oh I messed that one up anyway so what I will do where's my trusty iPhone 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 okay just using my iPhone over the whole lot just to take a photograph of the whole canvas because I want to be able to show and point out to you guys which were the different so that was the bloom in the pouring paints that was the bloom in the boom gel these are milky paints those are uh, Montmartre pouring paints Okay, so I've got a right mix there, haven't I? So here we go. Here's, here goes nothing, okay? We just give it all a big tilt. Let's see what mess I can create. I actually like these um, Montmartre droplets. The yellow and the red. Okay, well, I've lost the blooms. They go on almost. Okay, dokey. Back this way. Just trying to recenter it, but I 
Okay, the milk banks have just gone into a blob look, and so have the um, so and the milk paints are all breaking up and this is fracturing so that doesn't um, I probably have to work on um, consistency but I just wanted to give it a go now let me think let me think should I or shouldn't I do one flipping big swipe why not I'll use this white and the flow troll. I'm going to pour it down the center. I'm going to do a swipe. So let's see what we get with this, hey? So that was just the white and flow troll as my swipe color. I'll get my trusty, 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 um, uh, it's plastic file divider. So it's just um, come, come in a pack. Best wipe tool I find. I've used all the plastic towels and the scrunched up this and that. I just find this the best. So just drop in about the first centimetre. Oh, look at that lacing come up with that a little cell dover on it. Okay. Look at the cells. It's kind of those completely different than I would get when I use my um, PVA glue and water as a pouring medium. So that might be the thing to try to do your swipe colour with just your colour and flow troll. But that was just uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylics, so there you go. Easy peasy Japanesey. Oh, I hope I haven't offended anybody by saying that. It's just a saying. Oh, easy peasy, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie swipe. There you go. Wow. <laughs> and that's how you make something absolutely terrible because you stuffed it up into something that's not half bad. Look at that. Oh my. Oh my God. I think I'm going to layer all the colours that I have left now. I'm not even going to torch that. That is. I might just torch it like I said. I know what I'm going to go into. Okay. I'm going to just do this corner. I'm going to just see if I stuff it or it improves it. Doesn't do anything really. So there you go. You obviously don't even need that creating cells that way you don't need a torch but what I will do is I will now do another video that's got this I'm using those colors and I'm just using my own uh, little cell booster to see if I get the cells and I'll do a flip cup and see if I get the cells so there you go art lab experience oh yeah oh my goodness my poor Oleg. oh my god 28 minutes way too long I'll have to speed some up. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I've got a big list of videos there. If you haven't watched them, uh, I'll put some photos on at the end. Thank you so much. See you again next time.